imagine you're sitting on a recliner chair watching your favorite movie on a lazy Sunday. And your mom calls out your name and asks you to run some errands. You can imagine how difficult it would be for you to get up and do the work. Imagine you're practicing for your 100 meters race on this track. And somebody asks you to stop immediately within a second. Will you be able to do it? What if you're suddenly asked to turn towards the right? Will you be able to turn immediately? The answer to both the questions would be a no. You can stop, yes, but gradually. You can also turn, but not sharply. And guess what? It's the same story with every object. Every object will continue to do what it's doing. If it's at rest, it will remain at rest. And if it's in motion, it will stay in motion. But what can change this? Yes, only an unbalanced force can change this. If it's at rest and an unbalanced force acts on it, it will move. If it's in constant motion and an unbalanced force acts on it, it may accelerate or change direction. And this is nothing but the Newton's first law of motion. Here's the correct definition. An object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In simple words, it means that the objects continue to do what they're doing unless some external unbalanced force acts on them. We can also understand this using a simple diagram. If the forces are balanced, there can be two cases. An object may be at rest or an object will be in motion at a non-zero constant velocity in a particular direction. These can be the only two cases when the forces are balanced. In the first case, the object will continue to remain at rest and in the second, the object will continue to stay in motion at the same velocity and in the same direction. Don't forget, these two cases will remain true only if the forces are balanced. In the next video, we will look at a few applications of the first law of motion.